welcome back guys. Today I want to show you how to make sweet with heat candied bacon. Mixing my favorite things together to make an awesome treat. Stay tuned. So I had a good year for uh, tapping the maples this year. I started at the end of February and finished up at the beginning of April. And uh, now we are having a bit of a second winter. It's uh, pretty blustery outside with a warm up slated for this weekend. So I wanted to make something with the maple syrup that I got this year. So what better than doing something with it uh, and something else that I'm in love with, which is bacon. So I wanted to show you today how to make maple candied bacon. And you can use this uh, special treat you know, for anything. So you, know, you could crumble it on ice cream, you could have it for breakfast, you could have it as an hors d'oeuvre, and certainly you can put it on salads or as a little decoration uh, in one of your drinks. So maple candied bacon is really, really flavorful and it's so easy to make, really fast. You only need a few ingredients and I want to make mine a little bit spicy as well as sweet with the maple syrup. Before we head in the kitchen, I want to just give you a brief uh, introduction to different grades of maple syrup. So some of you may have noticed in the stores or if you've gone to a maple farm, there are different colors of maple syrup that you could buy. My favorite grade of maple syrup is the golden maple syrup. It used to be called extra light. The grading system changed here in Canada in 2017. As you can see, the, uh, this used to be the old extra light or the golden color. It's like a very pale straw color. It's something that we would get early on in the season. So this is uh, something that I got Basically the very beginning of March, March the 2nd was this batch, so really, really nice color, very light flavor. Other grades of maple syrup after the golden are amber, dark, and very dark. So I wanted to show you an example of amber, uh, and this is one that I had pulled off at the end of the season last year. As you can see, here is the amber color of the maple syrup, and it was produced sort of at the end of last season by the exact same process that I did to produce the extra light. Why is there the difference in color? Well, certainly as the season goes on, um, more bacteria are present in the tree, and the enzymes from the bacteria actually convert uh, the sucrose, in, which is a sugar in the maple syrup, to other types of sugars, other invert sugars. And those sugars, along with the process of caramelization and the Maillard process, um, produce this kind of color of maple syrup once you're done the boiling. And it has a very robust flavor. It's excellent for pancakes and baking. Um, this is one of the, you know, the grade A amber that you would sort of see in the grocery store. And here they are head to head in the same frame. You can see the, the golden color uh, in my right hand here and in my left hand I've got the, the amber color. So they're both very good uh, you know, types of maple syrup. Each has their own purpose and sometimes it's just a preference as to what you like. It's not too common to find the extra light in uh, grocery stores and you may actually have to buy it from a maple syrup producer. Again, this one's produced earlier in the season and this is later in the season and there's a few chemical processes that occur later on in the season that produce this beautiful dark amber color but the flavor is fantastic in both kinds of maple syrup. Sometimes you get the dark or the very dark kinds of maple syrup that are very late on in the season and those ones are excellent for baking. Sometimes you can get maple syrup in the very dark category that's about the same color as molasses. And on that note, let's head to the kitchen and make our sweet with heat maple candied bacon. So we'll start with a package of bacon. This recipe is going to make up to one pound of maple candied bacon. Moving over here, we've got the rest of the ingredients. So we have about half a cup of maple syrup. You can use, you know, the dark or very dark or amber if you'd like. I frankly have a lot of the extra light to use up, so I'm going to use that. Here we have a teaspoon of extra hot Dijon mustard. You can use any mustard you like, even the granular type of the Dijon. I'm also going to use uh, this chipotle spicy hot sauce, so to add a little extra kick and smoky flavor to the bacon. So we'll start by putting in the maple syrup here in the small bowl and then we'll add in the teaspoon of the Dijon. I'm also going to put in a teaspoon of this chipotle hot sauce. Maybe that's too much for you. It's whatever you'd like. You don't have to put all this in but just want to make it nice and smoky and have a nice little kick to it. Now we'll just whisk that up. Now I've got uh, just a, uh, a pan here, a baking pan. I've got a special liner on it but you can use tin foil. And I've got it lightly greased. You just want to lay out your bacon, not overlapping. You may have to do this in a couple of batches depending on how big your pan is, and that's okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the sauce we just made, and you know, you can use one of these uh, brushes here or a spoon to kind of drizzle it over the bacon. The spoon's fine, but I like doing this because then you can kind of paint it on. 
So making candy from maple syrup is basically, you know, heating up the maple syrup until it turns into a candy form, gets hard and crunchy. I have a video that I put up, I think it was last year, where I made brittle, walnut maple brittle. So if you're interested in making that kind of candy, I do have a video on that and I'll uh, direct you to it from this video. All right, so there we go. There's our first side done. I have the oven heated to 350, so we'll stick it in the oven. Please don't forget to monitor your bacon while it's in there as we don't want it to burn. Here we are at about 20 minutes, so what I'm going to do is just flip the bacon over and baste with a little bit more of the maple chipotle mustard mix. So I flipped them over and basted them again with a bit more of the mixture and we'll put them back in the oven and I'll check them again every 10 minutes until they're at the desired crispness. All right, so it's taken about another 15 minutes on the other side. Uh, again, just watch it really closely as you're getting close to the end. You don't want to burn it. So I'll take them out right now and I'll put them on a rack to have the grease drip off. All right, so we're just going to, ooh, they're nice and sticky. <laughs> I'm just going to stick this on this rack here for a little bit so they can crisp up. Oh, the smell, it's amazing. Don't want them touching too much or they're gonna get stuck to each other. What I also wanna do is to put a little bit of uh, black peppercorn on the surface of these while they're still sticky. And that should do it. Well, there's my first batch all done. I'm just storing it upright in a glass and I'll keep it in the fridge for future use. Well, let's give it a try. I've used one of the maple candy bacon uh, pieces here to decorate my drink. It uh, looks really good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. You know, it's not too spicy at all. Very subtle smoky taste and that extra sweet golden maple syrup Oh, I love it. You can add more spiciness to it if you'd like by adding some Tabasco or something like that during the cooking process. I probably would add a little bit more spice to it um, for my next recipe. But man, this tastes really good. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, episode today and give candied maple bacon a try. Again, you can use it to garnish a drink, use it as an appetizer, crumble it up, put it on salad, or hey, why don't you try it on some vanilla ice cream? I bet you it's going to be really good. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care. Take a look at the bacon. Mm. <laughs> yummy, yummy bacon.